Hello, welcome to this evening's Compline. I hope you're doing okay today. If, like me, you're trying to process the vagaries of the government's announcement this evening, then what better thing to do than to take ourselves to a place of prayer and peacefulness to end our day. And this being Sunday, it's the Itta or Ita Complim. The Sacred Three. To save, to shield, to surround. This hearth, this home, this night, every night. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. O Father, O Son, O Holy Spirit, forgive me my sins. O only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, forgive. O God who is one, O God who is true, O God who is first, O God who is one substance, O God only mighty, in three persons, truly merciful, forgive. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light, O God of life this night, Close not thy gladness to my sight. Keep your people, Lord, in the arms of your embrace. Shelter them under your wings. Be their light in darkness. Be their hope in distress. Be their calm in anxiety. Be their strength in weakness. Be their comfort in pain. Be their song in the night. In peace will I lie down, for it is you, O Lord, you alone who makes me to rest secure. Be it on your own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall awake. Be the peace of the Spirit mine this night. Be the peace of the Son, mine this night. Be the peace of the Father, mine this night. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, it's frozen. It could be me, Petra. It could be me. I don't know. The Wi-Fi is not always um, reliable in this room. In fact, I think it was more use in the garden this morning. Hey ho! I hope it's working now. So, um, yeah, I hope I'm not frozen. I don't know. We'll soon find out. And I hope that you've all had a good day. Oh, brilliant! Working again. Fab. Some, usually when I lose connection it, it tells me um, so it might not be my fault this time Petra it usually is I hope you have all had a good day today it's uh, been a little bit chillier super windy here um, it always feels really windy anyway with this being on a corner in front of the field so it was um, maybe a mistake for me to go and sit outside for our church service this morning I did have a few blankets, so that was good. And I hope that many of you who um, would wish to have been able to join in worship today. And I hope that has brought you connection to your faith group. And I hope it helped you to feel close to God and to each other. My particular prayers tonight are with those who are 
making the very important decisions at the moment that govern our lives and for those of us who are trying to interpret their advice to the best of our abilities which isn't always easy and I pray that as this week unfolds that maybe guidelines for us are perhaps a little less fuzzy and maybe there'll be a, a bit of clarification to help us um, to interpret the announcements that have been made today and that we just all are able to, to strive to do our best to keep each other safe. I think the, the problem comes when we believe that protection from the virus is all about ourselves and our own individual families rather than us as a whole because with something like this and with public health issues and communicable diseases it's all about the protection of, of the whole and so I pray that we are able to do what is right with the knowledge that we have. It's all a bit tricky. It's all still very new for, for all of us. Despite the fact it's been going on for so long, this isn't a situation we've experienced before. And so I pray for all of us who are still struggling to know what to do for the best. And particularly as things are changing and as the strictness of lockdown is probably going to decrease, I pray for us to be able to do the right things. Yeah. I think I'm ready for bed. I'm, good. I'm very, very vague myself. So I, I pray for each of you and I pray for... Uh, calm and peaceful night that it's not too windy that the wind's not keeping us awake and that we wake refreshed and ready for another new week please look after yourselves and i will see you again tomorrow evening good night